uh, just going to show you a quick recording of um, how to get started with Sentinel. This is for year eight. So I'm just going to close my project first and we can create a fresh one. So to create a new project, you can go uh, down here with the dotted lines. You can go up here and you choose to go down here. You can create a blank game. Let's click on next and we'll just give it a um, call this one um, year eight. One. You guys can call it something more appropriate. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a scene. And um, let's just call this level one, create. Once we've created a scene, we're going to need to download some resources. And we're going to go to Stencil Forge for that. I think I should remember this from class. We're going to get a background. And I'm just going to grab this blue one here. And we're also going to download uh, an actor type. Now you can download any actors that you want, but uh, for our first tutorials here, I would recommend you download the monkey because he comes with certain behaviors that we will be using. Uh, and until you get more familiar with behaviors, you will want to use the pre-made ones that the monkey has. Okay, so once we've downloaded this, um, these things will appear in your resources. Okay, so know that, notice that there's a one here. It means there's one actor or the monkey, one background, and one scene. Okay, now if we go over to our background, so you can either double click here and go back to your tab. We'll need to attach this image to our scene. So just click on this green button here. We're going to attach it to our level one scene. And so now we've got a background on there. Okay, now over here, I've explained this in class, and still, some students still don't really understand this. Is um, This acts as um, sort of like different pieces of paper on top of one another. If the paper is on the bottom, then it's going to cover things up. Uh, sorry, it's going to be at the very back. So we're going to want our background at the bottom and our layer zero above that. You kind of have to sort of find where you need to drag that. Okay, or try dragging the other one over if... Uh, if it doesn't really work out. And if we click on actors, we'll see our monkey here. Just click on monkey, and your monkey will be over your cursor. Okay, so you just click on your, your screen here. You can, of course, delete them. Just click and delete after you select the arrow tool. Okay, and once you've done that, we will have a monkey and a background. Okay, so just to demonstrate one more time, if we move a background above, it's going to cover up the monkey. So he's not really gone, right? If you mouse over, you can actually see that it's green here. And if you drag it back, the monkey will reappear because he's now in front. Okay, so whatever's above will appear in front, and whatever's at the bottom will appear behind. So now let's also get some tiles from Stencil Forge. So tile sets. We're going to get to some tiles here. And uh, once we have our tiles, once we download it, we'll, we can access our tiles in our scene. It'll pop up automatically in your scenes. Okay, and we're just going to create a, a baseline of tiles. So you can just hold on to your mouse. Oh, sorry, we're in the background. That's why I wasn't able to put anything there. So make sure you're on layer zero. And just click and drag your mouse. Okay, so then now we've got a layer. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, let's add some physics first. So um, we're going to want gravity going up and down, specifically down. We're going to use a value of 85. And now if we test the scene, let's wait for that to test our monkey should fall down. Okay, so the monkey's falling down. Fantastic. Okay, uh, excuse me. 
uh, we're going to add behaviors to our monkey now. So by default, you can click on here, or you can click down here and add behaviors. And we're going to add three different controls. We're going to add run and jump, which you'll remember from class, and just match it up. Left controls with left, right with right. Up will be our jump. Select your animation. So this is idle left, idle right. Idle means just the, the character is not doing anything. Run left, run right. Oh, sorry, that was run right. Run. Oh, sorry, that's run left. That is run left. Okay, run left, run right, jump left, and jump right. Okay, once all that's done, we can add that to the scene. Add it to level one. Okay, and uh, we will see if we test out our game. We should be able to control a monkey and jump around the way a monkey should. Now you'll notice I have a few things uh, on my screen because I was doing something else. Let me fix that up maybe. We'll learn a little bit more about uh, this enable debug drawing. Uh, but it should be, your screen should be much cleaner. Like this one here. Okay, so just left, right, up. You notice that if we move our monkey off, he disappears permanently, okay? If we push right and he'll never come back. So a few more behaviors we'll need to add to our monkey. Okay, so go to actors, go to your monkey. Okay, and that's the stencil book monkey tab. We're gonna add a few more behaviors here. So go back down here to add behaviors. And we're gonna add a cannot exit scene. Add that to the scene, level one, okay. And if we test this out, our monkey won't be able to exit the scene anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna head left. And now the monkey can no longer exit the scene. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, next time we'll look at um, making a bigger world and also uh, having the camera follow our monkey because the world will be much bigger. Thank you for watching.